It is time for something new today. Welcome everyone. My name is Mr. Hurricane and this is NBA Playgrounds, a new arcade sports game that just came out. It is two on two basketball and it's a game that I had my eyes on because I like arcade sports a lot. I played a lot of Super Mega Baseball on this channel, NFL Tour, and now you can play some basketball with the new NBA Playgrounds game. So, I don't know a lot about it, although I know there is this element of opening packs and collecting players. Now, I don't do a lot of basketball content, or really any basketball content, but I know many of you have wanted to see me bring some basketball gameplay to the channel. Well, let's get into NBA Playgrounds and see what I think here. Let's open up some packs. Now, I don't watch a lot of basketball. I don't know a lot about the sport, really, at all. However, I should know a lot of these players from playing a lot of Daily Fantasy basketball this year. So what do I got? We start with Paul George from the Indiana Pacers. Is that a good pull there? It's an epic. I'm not sure what the odds are. I haven't watched any pack openings. Then we go get Zach Randolph from the Grizzlies. We then get Chris Stops Porzingis. Bill Lamebeer. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I don't know my historical basketball very well. And then Joel Embiid from the 76ers. So I feel like that was a pretty good first pack. I mean, I got players I recognize that are pretty good. So, next five cards here, we have Inferni Hardaway from the Magic, then Damari Carroll, Alex English, an Epic, Chris Bosh, and the final one is Ian Mahinmi. They're really testing out my pronunciation skills here. So one more pack now. There weren't as many like starters in that one. So the final pack now. I got 15 players here. I only need two to play 2v2. Brooke Lopez from the Nets. Where are the Timberwolves at? Aaron Gordon? Tyreek Evans? Give me a wolf. Just one wolf. There's Vucevic and Mitch Richmond. So I get no Timberwolves in here. I guess I'll have to open up some more packs or something. But, oh, you got nice little uh, collections it looks like here. So I have seen some gameplay videos, and it does look fun. The old arcade basketball games, I didn't play a whole lot of, but I did enjoy. So, just trying to figure out what all there is to do in here. And it looks like it's mostly an online play game, but there is exhibition here. So I guess I have to jump into my first exhibition game. So I have to figure out what team I want to use here, and I think I'll begin here using Paul George. We got 8 on the dunk, 8 on the 3 points, so that gives us options at the rim and from outside and we'll team him up hmm maybe I'm not sure if I should go with another big here like Brook Lopez or maybe I should go find a guard I didn't really like the guards that I got so I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna team up Paul George with Joel Embiid and we're gonna go big we're just gonna go big here so hopefully get some blocks and then George gives me the offense that I need okay so I have a game set up here I'm not really sure if I'm controlling the team that I want to control but we got some different areas we can go here, but I guess I only have one unlocked. So hopefully uh, a game that you guys enjoy. I'd like to bring some other stuff to the channel. And let's check out NBA Playgrounds now. I have not played a single game yet, so I'm going into this not knowing much. It's a lot like when I go and play NFL Tour and I don't know what I'm doing, but at least it's football. I'm familiar. Comes to basketball. Man, I can't remember the last time I played a basketball game. Thank you for keeping the controls on screen, though. Jump when the ball is at its highest. All right. Wait a minute. Which, which team am I? How on earth did I end up being this team? So I give up a, a dunk here that's apparently worth three points. I, uh, I went through and I set the teams, but then I would go to the other side, and it was like showing my player one icon there. So I'm like, okay, what if I just reverse it? And I... Can Brooke Lopez shoot threes? We're about to find out. Release too late and you'll overshoot. I'm not sure when the perfect moment is. But that does not go in. We got the rebound, though. What if I... Nope. I know how to pump fake now. But I uh, tried to... There we go. Let's get the dunk in there. Oh, come on. Why did that work? But I tried to, like, back out of that... Oh. That was nice. Ask for push. Yes, give me a push. No one's pushing anybody. Is there a shot clock? Oh, there is a shot clock. I have no idea what it is I'm doing. Oh, what was that? 
Oh, George is going to take this from way deep. The yellow bar is your player's stamina. It drains if you sprint, push, dunk elbow, execute crossovers, or slam alley-oops. So from long range, George... Oh, I can't even tell where the ball is here. Now we got Embiid, who's just basically going to get this for free almost. Hey, we blocked it. Execute dunks, alley-oops, blocks, and steals to increase your lottery pick bar. When the bar is full, you'll receive a ridiculous advantage. And right now, their bar is a lot more filled up than mine, as Embiid tries to just lay that in, and we're just jumping all over the place. Yeah, I could I could have told you this was going to be probably pretty ugly to start. Only two points there. How come, how come they got three on the previous one? Was that for, like, perfect timing? But how do you time, like, the dunk? I'm not sure how any of this works. Give me some points already! 6 nothing, Or 5 nothing. I can't even tell the score. Embiid here. Gonna go inside and make it... Oh! Does not go in. Let's sprint up here. To nail a dunk, hold and release dunk in the, in the right moment. When's the right moment? Oh! Got it! Two points. I don't know when the right moment is. I could use some feedback there. And there he goes with the outlet. Well, this game definitely seems pretty cool once you get the hang of it, which I'm not sure how long that would take for me. But they got their first lottery pick power up here. It's 7-2. Let's give this up to Porzingis. You know what? We got we to gotta go from range now. Oh, that's, that's denied. That didn't go well. But we get it back. It's okay. Oh, shot clock violation. Not used to shot clocks here. I'm used to... Uh, how much time you have in the pocket and there's a three-pointer with some electricity I guess it's 10 to 2 everything going perfect right now perform crossovers I guess I haven't tried that yet oh I guess I got a stamina all the way down as we are a bit early on that shot I guess I have to uh, probably hold that a little bit longer oh we knock it away let's steal it Got to get some of these points back. We only have two and a half minutes. Quick pass to his teammate. And got the dunk. Okay, we got our first power up. It's 10 to 4. And is that double points on a dunk? It's not exactly giving me the, the like a lot of usable feedback right now. Oh, you can't throw an elbow. I guess you can on here. Oh, how did that not go in? Now, they got one. Just threw it in with one hand. Hold down alley-oop to make your teammate jump and hit pass to dish it to him. All right. Got to make a comeback somehow. Um. Oh, okay. That kind of seemed a little easy right there. We weren't in position or anything, but we got there. So, it's 12 to 8 now. We got double points on that, but another made shot there by Embiid. So, it's 14 to 8. We still have this power up, though, for a little bit longer. And laying it in. Do we get double points on that? It's 14 10. Maybe it's only double on the dunks, which we did not do. So, it's George. Oh, he's going to pull up and off the front of the rim. Oh, Embiid. He's going to slam this home, it looks like. No, denied. Give me that. Come on, Przingis. No, you're not on defense right now. Oh, you can shove people. That doesn't seem very sportsmanlike. So, Porzingis here. Don't want to drain all the stamina. And laying this in. We got a 14-12 now. We've definitely made this comeback. We're close. Oh, loose foot. Oh, I almost said loose football. My bad. Not a fumble. I'm going to take this. Rebound very casually. And now Porzingis. Let's go tie things up at 14. Okay. So we made the comeback. It was possible. But now... Oh, nifty passing there from Embiid to George and back to him. Oh, I tried to, tried to guess there. No, George! No, he puts it back! A minute 30 left to go. Give me that ball. Alright, Przingis. Why don't we... I'm not sure what my plan is here. He pulls up from the free throw line to tie things at 16. Okay. We get a steal now. Trying to, trying to reach here. Not working and denied by Lopez. But George has it back. And that is offline. 
Give me that. No, they got it again. Two misses on this possession and then an easy make. And they'll get a power up now with a minute to go. Uh-oh. Is this going to increase the vertical? I don't know if I want to find out. We got the perfect shot. Four-point play. That is right. I read that in a review that you get extra point on the perfect shot. So we're up by two. Oh, and Bead can't lay it in. All right, let's eat some clock here. Wait, is that a shot clock? Whoa. That must have really gone down. I don't remember being... Oh, is that what their power-up is? A 12-second shot clock? Oh, he misses the dunk, but George has it back. Needing to tie it off the rim, and we got it. Przingis up to Lopez. Let's go! Two points. We're up 22 to 18, and now we got the lightning. Do not know what this does. Uh-oh. He's getting close. And two more. 22 to 20. We both have our upgrades, but theirs is running out. Gonna spend some time here. Now, we gotta get this home. No, a violation. No, they have a chance to tie it right here. This is intense. So Embiid to George, fade away, jumper, we take it away. Now looking for the dagger, Lopez, let's go. But hey, if they can cash a perfect three here, They'll make it a four and tie things up. So Embiid pulls up. That's a two. And we'll take that. Not much time left. We throw up the half quarter end of match. What about... I, I released it though. We got the win. We had to make the comeback happen. 14 points to Brook Lopez. 10 to Kristaps Przingis. Playing for a team I didn't even want to play for. I wanted to be with George and Embiid. But hey, I got the win and... Do I level up to two? Sure do. Oh, a new player pack. Maybe I'll get a Timberwolf this time. How about the XP for Lopez and Przingis? So you, you uh, increase those players and you upgrade their moves. This is cool. I wish there was like a season mode element to it, but I guess it's more of an online play game. The exclamation point means you've won a new player pack. All right, maybe I'll get a Timberwolf this time. Give me Towns. And this time I get, open that thing up. Give me something good. I made a great comeback in there. Sean Marion, Roy Hibbert, LaMarcus Aldridge, Nikola Jokic, and Jeremy Lin. So we're still left with no Minnesota Timberwolves. So I have this new tournament mode unlocked now. And if I jump into here, Oh, it is like a, a story mode campaign type of deal, it looks like. Zero four championships here in New York. I assume you just play against different teams and then you unlock a region. Maybe unlock a, a legend or something. I'll have to check that out. So that was my first game here at NBA Playgrounds. I obviously don't know what I'm doing. And that'll take some time. But if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more NBA Playgrounds content, leave a, leave a comment below, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel. I like these arcade sports games. This might be a good way for me to start getting into basketball a bit more. And maybe I bring some other stuff to the channel at some point. No Timberwolves. There's only five in the game. Don't even know who they are. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Perhaps next time I jump into tournament mode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.